We're back, friends. Mr. Sali, today we're going to think about something new. It's a pretty simple idea, and I know that we're going to do it, and we're going to do it well because we've been so sharp in learning and engaging and listening and watching the whole video. So I want you to think about something. Think about a main idea, right? I know the main idea in this passage is ladybugs. I see the ladybug here, the word, in my heading. I see ladybugs here. I know that I'm gonna learn about the insect, the ladybug. Now, as we read, we're gonna think about a common theme, okay? A main idea that is connected by two things. Two ideas from the passage that have one thing in common, okay? Two things from the passage that have one main idea in common. Okay, so I have a few key details listed. And as I read, I want you to think about what ladybugs eat, what they're eating, how the ladybugs eating these insects helps farmers and ultimately understand why farmers and ladybugs get along. Most people don't like any insects, but Ladybugs are a little bit different. So as we read, think about what connects two main ideas from this passage. What is a common theme from two main ideas? We're gonna start at number one, friends. There are many different types of insects. The ladybug is one of them. With its three body parts, six legs, two antenna, wings, and its eyes, it is definitely an insect. The ladybug can be easily recognized by its red or orange coloring and its black spots. Farmers and gardeners, excuse me friends, love this little insect. The ladybug eats aphids and other insects that destroy plants. Destroy is another word for eating or getting rid of or messing it up. These ladybugs, they're so mean, they just mess it all up. The ladybugs help protect gardens and crops. The ladybugs are also called lady beetles because a ladybug is actually a small beetle. There are about 50,000 different types, excuse me, 5,000 different types of ladybugs. They can be found all around the world. So one thing I wanna focus on, I wanna focus on number two here. And I'm going to think of a couple different sentences that give me some details from this part of the passage. I learned that ladybugs eat another insect called aphids. Now that is one main point. We learned just there what ladybugs eat. That's a very important part of a ladybug living is what they eat. Now, I realize that they eat something called an aphid. So those are two ideas. And what connects these main ideas is the idea that ladybugs are helping something that feed us. If they're eating these bugs that eat our crops and our vegetables and our gardens, then we like ladybugs. They help us out, we work together. We have to be nice to ladybugs. I learned from these two details that farmers like ladybugs and that I also like ladybugs because they eat little mean bugs that eat our food. We know that because the first detail tells us that the ladybug likes to eat these aphids. And then the second detail tells us that these aphids eat our food. So if I like something, if I have a, a ladybug near me, I'm not gonna kill it, I'm gonna be nice to it. I have to be nice to the ladybug because they make sure that those mean little aphids don't eat our vegetables. Secret password is, thank you ladybugs, remember, aphids, are ladybugs. I mean, aphids are being eaten by ladybugs. And aphids, if they don't 
if they aren't eaten by the ladybug, then they're gonna eat our food. So those are two main details and two main ideas that are connected by one bigger topic. Ladybugs eat aphids, aphids eat our food. We like ladybugs because they keep our food alive. Thank you, ladybugs. <laughs>